Howdy, 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 everybody. I got a double feature gameplay for you guys today featuring the TVP. Now, this is a tier 10 Czechoslovakian tank. And uh, honestly, I fell in love with this tank when I got it a while back. And I got it all the way up to a 2 market, and I just sort of stopped playing it because the machine came out. And the machine was just better in every way. And so, I s have been coming back to it to try to 3, mar three market. And. I gotta say, while playing, I got some pretty dang good games. The two games I'm going to show you guys are back-to-back -back games that I played in the TVP, and they were both very good. So, I'm going to be cutting and snipping the heck out of this video, because it is going to be relatively long if I didn't do that. So, that's why if you see me jump from place to place, just use your uh, imagination to fill in the gaps. But... You'll see here that I am just completely dumped an entire clip on the move and every single shot hit and penetrated that uh, 120. I'm not going to push out in front of the Yag. I want them. Uh, not, I want my teammates to push in here and them to take the hits and then I'm going to go close the gap while I'm reloading. The reload on this thing is not very long at all. It actually is super short so I don't mind going for a reload if I'm halfway through my clip or something like that. But you'll see, once you are reloaded, you have a 1,200 alpha damage clip potential. And your clip puts out in a very, very short amount of time. The inner clip in this thing is just like the machine, actually a little worse than the machine. And then, this was literally a couple seconds later, and was reloaded, and completely took out the E-75 as well. And I'm back on reload again. Now I want to get into cover right here just in case the 704 wants to turn around and try to shoot me. I don't really want to take a hit. And I'm going to be reloaded in 6 seconds and this ship horn is just a juicy, juicy target. So I'm going to close the gap and I'm going to dump my clip into him as well. Auto aim the first shot. This gun is very accurate. Its gun handling is so nice. And I still have one in the clip and I'm going to decide to go for my reload. I thought that I was going to um, spot that Waffen Panzer that's up here, but I did not. But it doesn't even matter. With that food activated and everything, the reload on this thing just goes like that, like really fast. And now we have side shots into this machine. This is the perfect storm in a game. Barely any tanks look at me. As soon as I'm reloaded, I have something to shoot at. And all of the shots go exactly where I aim them. So this was a very exceptional... <laughs> RNG was definitely blessing me this game. And I still have one shot in my clip right here, and that WAF just shot, so I'm gonna just completely have an easy shot. I have no idea how that shot missed. If you go back and watch it, my entire aiming reticle was on that tank, and it still went into the ground somehow. I like how I just said, oh the gun handling is so good on this. Okay, well it is really good, but that was that was not that was like server lag or something like that. But doesn't matter. He's just postponing his inevitable death because I am reloaded and there are two juicy juicy tank destroyers down here and this medium is already distracting them for me so I'm just going to go right on in here and dump my clip into this Death Star. I shoot one into the side of him, auto aim, and a second one and now I was aiming for the upper plate right there. That would have been a pen. If you are above a tank shooting down onto their upper plate you most likely, most likely, most likely will pen them. And then we move a little bit more forward here, wrapping around, heading back to base. Get another whole clip of this E50M. I did not care about taking a shot from him. I was on full health up until this point. I could easily take a shot from him and still finish him off. And we're going to go back to reload and food is ready again. And this is what I'm telling is that my food is ready after every single engagement. It's just like this was like the most perfectly timed game. So whenever I'm reloading, I can also activate food. And then this Conqueror is just toast. Doesn't even have a chance. I got two more in the clip. I don't want to go for my reload because my food is going to be disactivated and I do want to reset base right here. So this Progetto is trying to sneak up in there. I get a lucky track shot into him and then my second shot gets in. He ricochets off of me and that shot just goes straight into the Aurora Borealis. I thing is gone. Our team ends up resetting cap and killing the um, Italian tank right there. But we get a very nice 7 kills, 6400 damage, 1600 assistance. 
Ace Tanker, Top Gun, one away from a Radley Walter. That sort of stinks, but it is what it is. I cannot complain about this game whatsoever. Doing 8,100 damage in total is no small feat, and you can just see from the scoreboard that it was just, it was a wipe. Anything that was slow, like the Jagdpanzer, the E75, or the E100, just were not fast enough to do any damage in this game. But, enough of that, we are going to hop straight into the next game. This was my very next game on Sand River, and... Whenever I'm on Sand River and anything with mobility, I like to take the right side of the map from this spawn. I like to go to the dunes, up to this location I skipped because it was just getting to position. And I see that the light tanks are going to be spotting for me over there. So all I need to do is sit back. I thought he was going to turn, but he didn't. And I just need to keep dumping my shots into these guys. I don't, need, I don't think I'm going to get spotted right here. The light tank actually starts to fall back, so there's no way I'm going to get spotted. I do take a blind fire here, I miss, and I'm just going to go for my reload again because I'm not going to get another shot on this little guy. Thought I was going to sneak it right there, but I wasn't even going to risk it. Honestly, maybe I should have. Actually, no, I shouldn't have because I get to shoot the Foch one time. And that's just the accuracy right there. All the way from this far back into his lower plate, no problem. Snapped right onto that guy, not even fully aimed next guy I encounter. I'm still just working this dip, this ditch over here. From this ditch, you can control the middle of the map, and if you need, you can go back and reset base and you have lots of cover. I get another lucky ricochet right there. Whenever this tank is backing down a slope and people try to shooting at my upper plate, for some reason, bounces all day long. It, it, don't, get it, don't get it wrong. This tank does not bounce stuff. <laughs> it has no armor, but sometimes it does very luckily but don't rely on your armor because it will fail you you want to play this thing like a scout like a flanking medium and a sniping support heavy or not heavy medium just a sniper because the gun is very nice on this i should have taken that shot it might have been it might not have but it's all good i still got three in the clip and we got a yag panzer sitting out in the open and this is just what this gun does one two three right into the lower plate from this distance with no problems and it does it fast so it doesn't give that Jagdpanzer time to get a shot on me because I'm able to get all four of my shots down range and get into cover if I was in something like a Cranvon or a Progetto or something I would be sitting out there forever trying to get my shots off and after our reload we're able to take him out get him out of the game we have a small shot here on this guy but he gets into cover. It's all good. He will die eventually. And here's this AMX 5100. This poor guy. I've been just bullying this guy the entire game. So we were being capped out. So I made sure once I was done shooting that AMX to head back over to base. Finish off the E75. I still have one in the clip. I need to get this reset. And boom. Set him on fire. Got the reset. Wasn't even fully aimed. Just this gun accuracy. Just handling. Just going into effect. And now I want to get back up into cover over here. I want to keep working this left side of the map, or this right side of the map, and all of the enemies are going to have to come over to my side in order to get me out of this corner, and either to reset base, and this is where I want to fight on my own terms. I don't want to go over there chasing. I already know this side of the map. So now we're going to get a shot onto this guy. Boom, he gets away. Doesn't really matter. We still have three in the clip, and here's the poor 5100 that I've just been harassing the entire game. Finally take him out of the game. Poor guy. <laughs> but it's all good. We're on reload now. Like I said, not a long reload. I got food activated. I did want to be careful for artillery because artillery can still completely ruin my game. And this would be a great game for them to ruin. So I want to move in on this Oho now. That medium's in the middle. He's a one-shot. I'm not too afraid of him. And the machine takes him out. So I don't even have to worry about him anymore. At this point, I was sort of chasing damage. I wanted more damage. So I wasn't going to shoot that one shot. I wanted the Oho, and now I wanted that Juicy Juicy Piggy. Now, I swear, I thought that I saw the Artie shoot over into A0, uh, or, and I'm wrong. He's not in A0. And you'll see right here that this shot, I don't know how, misses. Another one. Sometimes the server lag is just on crack cocaine, because, boom, another shot fully on that tank, and I don't even know where it goes. I swear I landed on Himmelsdorf somewhere. But nonetheless, another great game. 7,400 raw damage. 
which is more than the last game I just played. Five kills, almost a top gun. 7,800 assistance, so not a lot of assistance this game, which is nice. I mean, raw damage is always nice to put out, you know, but the assistance damage is uh, easy. And you'll see right here, I'm at 88%. So I was all the way in the 90s with this tank, and then I just started playing it really bad because I just wanted to play it to have fun and not necessarily have to sweat every single game I played. But and that's why I dropped all the way down. So I'm I got some some space to make up. But now I'll show you guys the uh my loadout that I take. I'm taking vert stabs. Um and since it is an auto loader, you don't have the reload thing. So I do gun laying drive and vents. And here's the armor. Not much to see because you don't got none. 65 millimeters of armor, so that's why sometimes you'll see those ricochets when you get that extreme, extreme angle. But even this, 120 millimeters in the turret, like you're you're not gonna bounce stuff in this tank. <laughs> Plain and simple. Luckily, we don't have to spend a lot of time looking at the armor layout here because it's just simple. I'll give you a little 360 here, paper thin, paper thin, dude. If people are loading HE, they're going through you. And here is the detailed statistics, and you'll even see here from my last machine video, my inner clip reload, and this is 1.7. The inner clip in the machine is 1.5, so it's better. The only thing that's better in this tank is its mobility, its right and left mobility, and its camo. The top speed is about the same, because the, the machine can still get up to speed pretty fast, you'll see here. 1.5 seconds for the inner clip, but it doesn't really matter. The machine is just a, a better vehicle. It's more armored. It's still just as fast. Not not mobile, like right to left, zigzagging and stuff, but it's still good. And you'll see the perks I'm running here are mainly just set up for gun handling and uh, vision and uh, camo. You guys, this tank is more of something you want to play as a support tank, a sniper, and you want to dump your clip and get out of there. You don't want to take shots in this thing. But it is a fantastic tank. Um, it's very, very fun. And look at this skin. Look at how nice this skin is. So happy that I got this skin. But you guys, thanks so much for sticking through this double feature with me. If you guys enjoy double features like this, let me know in the comments. And I'll make more of them. If not, let me know in the comments. And I won't make more of them. But please, ammo rack that like and subscribe button. Hit that bell. And I'll see you guys later. Bye.